All right, so this is gonna be a video on how to find the domaining range for x squared plus y squared equals one. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is solve for y. Okay, so to do that is I'm gonna subtract x squared from both sides. That's gonna cancel. You'll end up with y squared is equal to one minus x squared. All right, to get rid of this square, this squared right here, we're gonna do a square root on both sides and you'll end up with y is equal to plus or minus the square root of one minus x squared, okay? From this, hopefully you remember that you can't take the square root of a negative number and still have a real number. You'd, have, you'd end up having a complex number. So that kind of limits what our domain can be for this x right here. So what we're gonna do is this one minus x squared, this one minus x squared has to be it, it, it can be equal to zero or it can be greater than zero, but it can't be less than zero because it can't be negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve for one minus x squared being equal to zero. This is gonna be our boundary for the domain basically for the x. So what I'm gonna do here is first I'm gonna add x squared to both sides to get rid of the x squared. So that's gonna cancel on the left. One is equal to x squared. Okay, take the square root again, and you end up the square root of one is, in this case, plus or minus one equals x. Okay, so these are gonna be our boundaries for our domain. From here, what you need to do is you need to test within the actual equation above for the domain to see if it's gonna be less than or greater than. So what I'm gonna do is, since I know that one and negative one are the boundaries, that's when it's actually equal to zero, I'm gonna try a number outside of those boundaries, so not in the middle of one and negative one. So let's just try two. So if I put a two in for x here, I'm gonna do one minus two squared, which is one minus four. One minus four is gonna be negative three, and you can't take the square root of a negative and still get a real number out of it. So I know that x has to be less than or equal to one. Okay, because two will not work. Two is outside of those boundaries. And you could try three, four, five. You could try any number that's greater than one, and you'll notice that it does not work. So x could be less than or equal to one for the domain. Now I'm going to try something where that it's outside of the boundaries, only on the opposite side for negative one. So let's just try negative two. If I do one minus negative two squared, that's going to be the same thing. You're going to end up having something negative in the square root, which is not possible. So x has to be greater than or equal to negative one. So this is gonna represent our domain of the equation. Now you can do the exact same thing with y to get the range. Uh, because they're added right here, you can actually just flip flop them and it's gonna be ended up being the same thing. It's gonna be y is less than or equal to one for the range. So I'm just gonna write that in there. Y is less than or equal to one or y is greater than or equal to negative one. So this would be our domain, and this would be our range. All right, hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.